must pass on the deed only to someone who is worthy. Only they will be able to turn the key and open the box. Sport, Dominic the Bominic MacDougal. Hey guys, come check this out. Dominic the Bominic, how would you like to be one of my people? Wait, this isn't like a, a crazy place to work. Everything's pretty normal around here, right? We just found the owner of the bar from 70 years ago cryogenically frozen in a freezer in the basement. You're probably all wondering how I got here. It all started 70 years ago. And then, I fell into the freezer. I instantly got a case of brain freeze. I couldn't feel anything. It was like, like I was taking a nap. Only, this nap would last for 70 years, I suppose. And that's how I ended up here. What year is it again? 2023. And the Cold War is over? Depends who you ask. And Eisenhower? Dead. I spoke with him recently. He really regrets the whole nuclear weapons thing. You guys can't be that surprised by now. Okay, so you, you survived 70 years of cryo-freeze? Hey, that happened to my uncle once. <laughs> what? Happened to the best of us. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you here, Nikki. It's Mickey. Right, right. Wait, if you're Mickey, then who did I talk to about the deed to the bar? Look, it was a long day, okay? Okay, disregarding all of that, we still have to figure out what to do with him. Now, hold your horses. You don't have to do anything with me. I'm fine. I missed this place. It looks exactly how I left it. We have renovated a couple of times. It, the bar blew up twice, actually. And this wood feels the same. And there's still the smell of cheap whiskey in the air and What's this? That's a wire, Mickey. Oh, like how the government listens in on conversations. FBI, freeze! Nobody move a muscle. FBI, what are you doing here? That's federal bar inspectors, actually. Federal what? Actually, I'm from the Bureau. <laughs> Bitters here is special division. We've had your bar under surveillance for quite some time. Ever since one of your staff got a hold of some explosives. That's right, and since we found out about your little science experiment here, we want to ask him a few questions. Actually, it's more than a few questions. We'd like to run a few tests and experiment on him ourselves. No, I won't let you take him. Arrest Mr. Sport and anyone else who tries to protect Captain America here. There he is. Hey, this is government business. Nikki O'Toole, can you tell us what it was like surviving in a cryogenically frozen freezer for 30 years? Nikki, Nikki, how do you feel about the current US politics? It's spelled Mickey! Hey, leave my previously popsicleized employee alone! Where did all these news people come from? We're never in the limelight! We're a barely profit turning bar! Dominic, did you see that guy? Oh, uh, what guy? Okay. Cameron, we're gonna need a distraction, okay? Something to get these uh, feds and news goons away while I smuggle Mickey to a secret location. Okay, I think I got something. Kai, Kai. Seriously? Fine. I see dead people! Oh my gosh. Kai! Kai! Who have you spoken to from beyond the grave? Kai, what do you think about the sixth sense? I resent M. Night Shyamalan. Thanks for getting me out of that. I felt like I was back in the war again. Come with me if you want to not be televised and or experimented upon. Okay, what do we do now? You know, I could serve the news mob poorly mixed cocktails and make them sick. No. Okay, something else then. Okay, um, I have a plan. Follow my lead. Go. It's the spirits. Run! Run! Hello, everybody, and 
welcome to America's Unfunniest Home Videos. I'm your host, Sam Car Accident, and we have a very special lineup for you tonight. Up first, we have a video of an elephant getting poached, and I'm not talking eggs. <laughs> then, we have a video of a little girl watching her goldfish get flushed down the toilet. She will not be finding Nemo. And finally, we have a compilation piece of people sticking toothpicks underneath their toenails and then subsequently shoving them into a wall. But first, a message from our sponsor, Lexapro. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Good. It's exactly what we'd expect on America's unfunniest home videos. No joke in here. <sighs> well, folks, for reasons unbeknownst to me, our show has been canceled. I don't get it. Was the name too long? Sport. All clear. Sport, get up. What? What, we're on the run from government agents. We gotta at least act a part, Cameron. It's not a part for the guy they're actually trying to experiment on. So, when did America suddenly become a fascist surveillance state? You know, for most people it isn't. Why was the federal government watching our bar anyways? Well, we did blow a hole in the ceiling last year. And they tried to buy enriched uranium off of the internet. What? I was trying to commune with the soul of J. Robert Oppenheimer. I wanted to see how accurate the movies were. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> oh, so why are we back here in the first place if the bar is under surveillance? Because I had to get my sunglasses, okay? Why do you even need sunglasses, sport? What else am I supposed to push down on my nose when I say a catchphrase? What kind of, what part of a, we're running from government agents, don't you understand? Okay, you mean to tell me you brought us back to a building surveilled by the government for sunglasses? Exactly. <laughs> and you know what? I've already found them. And I already said all clear. Look. Freeze! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hitters, what did I tell you about yelling freeze before me? Oh, I'm sorry, Bunsen. You go ahead. No, no, you ruined it. Come on. I didn't ruin it. You said freeze and they froze. The moment is gone. Okay, hi, yeah, over here. Sorry to interrupt. What do you want with Mickey? Hi, uh, just a sec. Sorry. Do you think we could rewind to just before we were here? Yeah, Seriously? sure. <sighs> Thank you so much. Oh, and don't even think about escaping or anything because we have agents outside. Okay. Freeze! Ah. Ah. See, Bunsen, don't you feel better? Of course I do. You always know what to do, Bitters. Okay, yeah, me again. What do you want with Mickey? Well, we're definitely not gonna go golfing with him, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Mr. O'Toole is a medical marvel. I mean, he can unlock the secrets to all sorts of advancements. Basically, we're gonna experiment on him. Now get in the corner. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Don't try any funny business, buddy. You are Mr. Freeze. Won't be getting anywhere That's with so these. Nice. What are you looking at? Running from the government involves a lot less running than I thought. Only if you're bad at it. Guys, what are we gonna do? I can tap dance. You really think tap dancing would help right now? Well, have you ever seen a really good tap dance? It's quite captivating. I'm glad to hear that the art of the tap dance is still alive and well. You know, my grandma just sent me a check for my birthday. Do you think the FBI accepts $40 bribes? <laughs> Our health inspector doesn't even take $40 bribes, Dominic. Ooh, I could blow another hole in the ceiling. How would you do that? I'm out of materials. Um, does anyone have ammonium, nitrate, and diesel fuel? Sorry, used it all up yesterday. This is all very kind of you, but you shouldn't have to sacrifice anything for me. I mean, this is your bar. You need it. No, 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 no. Without you, there wouldn't be a bar in the first place. We're not just going to hand you over to these guys. Yeah, I only just got here, but I'd so be down to blow up a building for you guys. I can't tell if that's really sweet or really concerning. Well, we're a family, and we're not going to get out of this without you. Well, what do you think, Bunsen? 
This is promotion material. Oh yeah, the less due process, the better in the Bureau. That's great. <laughs> Maybe we can go to Fiji, like we've always wanted. I have always wanted to overthrow an island nation. <laughs> well then, we better get these perps back to Washington. Not so fast! Whoa! Don't move! You can take me all you want, but keep your mitts off them. And how exactly do you plan to stop us? I guess we'll just wait here. I can't believe that it sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> this message was brought to you by the Anti-Microwave League. Hey, Sport. Yeah, Dominic. Do you remember when I asked you, hey, this isn't like a crazy place to work or anything, right? And you said, nah. Yeah? Does this scream, nah, to you? This is actually just a regular Thursday for us. This one time, Kai was... Cameron, now we have company. Ah, ah, oh. You know, for a guy who hasn't been able to run for 70 years, that guy sure is fast. I mean, we chased him for three, four blocks before he got away. Man, I am parched. I'm gonna make myself a real quick Negroni before we get back to work. Bitters, put the bottle down. We're here to retrieve the fugitive. Now your popsicle pal is coming with us. Eventually, once we find him. Wait, Bunsen. I think we found our guy. Welcome back to the program. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Henry Dalton. Tonight we have a very special guest with us. Is that Mickey on the news? Well, isn't this just great? Mickey O'Toole was recently discovered to be cryogenically frozen in the basement of a freezer of a bar, a, low, a below average bar, here in East Lansing. <clears throat> and he's with us here live tonight to bring us back to the past. For the last time, it's Mickey. My apologies. Now, Mickey here, I understand that you have some words to say to the public. Now, I don't know what happened or how I got here. One minute I was working on the old freezer in the basement, and then I wake up and I find out that the whole world has changed. But the one thing that has always been able to withstand the test of time has been my bar. But not just the bar, which actually needs some serious renovations, but its employees, Sport, Cameron, Kai, and Dominic, the Bominic, McDougal prove that there still is good left in this world. This was not part of the program, but uh, thank you. We were supposed to be showing him 21st century memes. I now know that my bar is being left in good hands. So I, Mickey O'Toole's, will be turning myself in to the U.S. government. Thank you. What? Where are you going? We have a show to do here. I mean, come on, this happens every time I get someone cool on the show. It's, I just don't understand. Mickey O'Toole, you're under arrest. And get new liquor. Hat and crony was awfully dry. All right, boys, we got him. Stop. You can't do this. How long have you been free? Like, like 20 minutes, but that's not the point. <laughs> it's OK, you guys. You've done enough for me. Surely there's something we can do. I'm really sorry, but Mr. O'Toole is a medical mystery. And if he can finally place us ahead of the Russians in the fight for advancements in cryogenic technology. Now that's a cause that I can get behind. <laughs> is there even a need to compete for that anyways? We're the government, kid. There's always a need for competition. If you need to learn so much about cryogenics, why don't you just take the freezer? And then we can keep Mickey. No! Uh, well, it'll take... A we wanted to replace that freezer at, at least a couple hundreds. Sport, seriously? <sighs> oh, okay. Give us a minute. We have a deal. 
<sighs> okay. Don't think you're off the hook just yet. If he does anything stupid, we'll be back to get him for good. You understand? Understood. No hijinks. No shenanigans. Up. Uh, no wacky antics either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just straight up business. Complete normality. <laughs> Bunsen? Yeah, bitters. We'll be back here again, won't we? You're damn right.